to move on to our next doctor on the panel. So uh, we have with us Dr. Be Becky Pasco, and you're in Florida. Hello, Becky. Hello. Hi, welcome. And I know you have a long career in medicine as well. And um, I understand you have been searching for something beyond um, beyond the medical experiences that you've had in your practice and um, are interested in the light body itself. Can you tell us a little bit about that journey? What prompted you to uh, be interested in this concept? Well, it, it started about, um, I, I've always been uh, sort of a, a spiritual seeker of some uh, type since really basically childhood. But uh, it started perhaps maybe 11 or 12 years ago in, in earnest uh, when I was going through some personal difficulties and I would just sort of open a, uh, a Bible to sort of uh, look at whatever passage came up and uh, to see if I could apply it to whatever I was, I was doing at the time and uh, make myself think of things, you know, uh, more positively and whatnot. And I kept opening over and over and over again to your second Corinthians portion. And I did that for about a year and a half, two years. And it almost was ridiculous. I just kept opening to the same second Corinthians, you know, this, uh, this corruption will not inherit, you know, uh, the kingdom. And then also since childhood, I've been very fond of a, of a uh, classical piece called The Messiah, Handel's Messiah. And it actually outlines very clearly and beautifully the scripture that's associated with transfiguration uh, of the body and, uh, and uh, Jesus' uh, journey. And so I've been very fond of that for, for many, many years. I still listen to it all the time. I carry it with me all the time. But um, uh, during that period of time, I, I was becoming uh, just more of a seeker. I was reading a lot about Buddhism, and I had started reading about uh, uh, this uh, gentleman, uh, Tenzin uh, Wangal Rinpoche, uh, and he wrote a book called The Tibetan uh, Yogas of Dream and Sleep. And in that book, uh, there was a story of a Bon uh, practitioner who was actually a, f a family man. He had a family. He had what would be analogous to our job. And I believe he lived in Tibet and uh, practiced his Bon uh, um, materials and practi uh, practice uh, every night when he got home. And uh, one day his family went to go find him and found that he just uh, had transfigured and there were only hair and nails left. And this was completely uh, uh, new to me since uh, the description in Second Corinthians talked of the two bodies. I'd wondered for so long about, well, what are these two bodies, these three bodies? What is this you turn into? And this sort of just uh, lit a little fire under me. And although I have pretty much given my entire life to my practice of medicine, this has been an ongoing interest of mine. And uh, subsequently, I found other uh, teachers and practitioners. This Father Francis Tiso had... Uh, actually known of a gentleman in 1997 who uh, converted himself to light in Tibet. And 1997 to me seems so recent that it's, it brought it again once, uh, once again to be real mm -hmm. and recent and possible. And then uh, uh, I had uh, seen Dr. Pillai's uh, stuff and I had read actually quite a bit about, not a quite a bit, but a fair amount about Swami Ramalingam. And I knew that he had extensively written about the light body and how, how to be transfigured. And I knew that those texts weren't available and those papers weren't available. Dr. Ply, I know, has those texts. And uh, he uh, is uh, basically a master of those texts. And although they're not available and they're not in circulation, uh, I, I wanted them. And so I, I went to uh, a couple of uh, events in Mount Shasta, and I kind of chased him down a few times, asking him for those texts. And he said, yes, I'll get them for you. And I waited and waited and kept showing up and showing up. And now, now we've got the Light Body program, and I, I'm very pleased with, the, with Light Body 1, and I'm definitely going to be in Light Body 2 and, uh, and, and continue the practices. I believe they've really made a difference in my practice of medicine. Uh, it's increased my, my intuition, my ability to be empathetic with patients, my ability to see where they're going and what to do for them and how best to, to take care of them. And so uh, that portion's uh, really, really improved as well as other aspects of my life. So, Excellent. Thank you so much. I was going to ask you how it changed your practice, but you answered it, so that's perfect. Okay. 
Um, thank you so much uh, for joining us, Dr. Prasco.